Dude, got it. Cool. Finally came in. My computer goes on and off. Cool. Hey, Peppy. Yes. Uh, when you're making a Q24, uh, would it be a good idea to connect like four capacitors on each side and then do the connections or do uh, like one at a time? You can also do that as well if it's easier for you. Uh, label them. Uh, make sure your ins and out are glued at the right position. So before you glue them, just uh -huh. look at the blueprint too, how their positions, the in and out. Because uh, number nine reverses. When you go from number nine to 10, it reverses. Okay. And then uh, you have one series on the parallel, which is on the top of the Q24. And then uh, the rest are all parallels. So before you glue them, position them first, all four. And then uh, look at your diagram, how you're going to wire them. And then if it's all good, you can glue it all together and then you can label them, okay? How much space do you need to have between uh, each capacitor? Uh, it's just a little space. If you just put the little bit of glue on it, it, it lifts it up slightly a bit, just so you can tie them all together, right? So okay. doesn't, uh, the space is in relative. It doesn't have to be, you don't put it that wide. <laughs> uh -huh. Just a little bit. Just okay. a little bit. It's okay. It's all good. It doesn't have to be precise, the spice. Uh, it's flexible that way. No worries. Okay. All right. Yeah, take your time, do the diagram, label them. Some people, all, uh, I suggest to label them anyway, at least for your first build. Okay. Because it, uh, it could get a bit confusing. Just pay a, put a note on the number, number nine and number 17, just so you remember in case you forget. All right, okay. And how much wire do you generally need to make a Q24? Uh, you can probably... You can probably get away with uh, 150 feet. That's it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, probably it could be also less because now uh, no coils either because you're saving 50 feet with the coil. So uh, so I would give it around 150, 150 feet, right? Oh. Your capacitors will take, uh, uh, just the center line will take probably 27 feet of copper and... Uh, and your capacitors, depending on how you're rolling them, right? Uh -huh. uh, let's see, 24 feet for seven, seven, let's see. so three, three times one, two, three, four, five, six, 70, 80, yeah, probably 120 feet, yeah. You're good, 120, 130 the most, yeah. Without oh. the, All right. Because uh, the calculation before was with the coil, so that's why I said you're saving 50 feet, so. Well, what do you I, do? I've done the the 60, 70 feet to do your wraps around all the capacitors, all the turns. Uh-huh. Right? And 27, 24 feet will be all the centerpieces. Okay. If you're doing all your turns, it could add up around 60 feet of wire, so. Okay. All right. And then you're saving on the cone, so you probably need a little bit more glue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's way easier that way, so. And more organic. You'll find it really, really more powerful, so. Suppose if you buy, uh, like, a cord, uh, wires from one place and, and then you, it's, you know, you buy another one from another place, do you think it's going to be an issue or... No, you could be fine if you want, but don't mix them if you don't have to. But if you have to, because that's what you're limited to, right. uh, you can do so. And once it's nano-coated, it's nano-coated, right? So. Yeah, yeah. But if right. You, like I buy in bulk as a copper because it's cheaper. If I buy it in small pieces, it'll cost me an arm and a leg. Well, what do you pay for the copper here in uh, Canada? Uh, around fifty-three dollars for two hundred and fifty feet, and that's times three. So that would be like seven hundred feet of copper. But if I buy a twenty-foot roll, it'll cost me forty dollars. Oh, see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. So I always buy the bulk. So. Where do you get it from? 
Uh, are you in Canada as well? Yeah, I'm in Ontario. Uh, Canadian Tire. Really? Yeah, they, they have it cheaper than the hardware stores. So they any, price it. Yeah, and they use those for the homes too. I think it's uh, Romax or let me see, let me get the. I got one from uh, uh, Home Depot, but it's hard to take it out. I mean, I could take the middle wire, but the, the other two wires are like stuck to the insulation. Pretty hard. Like it's hard to take it out. Do you have the 14 gauge too? Sorry. It, com it comes with a grounding, a black, and a white, right? Correct? Yeah, yeah. I can show you. I think I opened it up. Yeah, I just cut off the wire already, or else I would have showed you. Okay. I just cut but, the knife in half. I put a I use a sharp knife. Right. Cut it and it just slides it off right nice and easy in the middle. That's what uh, that's what my wife used also. She used a sharp knife and she sliced it and it come off easily. Yeah. And right, but, but I bought a thousand mean? feet of it and it cost hundred and twenty dollar US dollar money. Yeah. What do you do with the other two wires? Like uh, the middle one comes out pretty easily, but there's yeah. the other two which has a lot of insulation on it. Like it's pretty hard, you know. What do yeah, you do about I, use, I use the knife. You use it the knife. Slides off. I cut a piece right off. Uh huh. That much, and then I tie it to the wall. I have a screw in the wall, and okay. I cut that wire, and then I pull on the other end, and I just slide it. Comes right off easy. It doesn't even nick it. So. Wow. Uh, another way of doing it is using one of these. Yeah. Uh -huh. You just put it on, uh, let's say this is a board. Uh -huh. Let's put it there, put the cord underneath it and pull it. And it'll just slide it off too. Really easy. But this one, long ones. Uh, not with these ones. These are short, see? Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. just use these long ones. That's another way of doing it as well. It's really easy. I like this way because this way you have to put your finger on it. You got to keep your finger on it, hold, held mm -hmm. on. So let's say, let's just get this. So I just hold it like that and then I pull the wire from behind and it slides it right off. Just like nothing, just nice and smooth. But there's a, there's a chance it could nick it, right? Yeah. You lift it up or down. But I find with the, uh, with this, it just glides right into it nice. I, I just finished stripping or else I would have showed you actually. That's okay. But uh, the uh, the Canadian tire, is it called like a home wire or something, 14 gauge? Yeah, it's a 14 gauge too. Uh, 14 gauge too, right, yeah, 14 gauge This two. one right here, can you see it? Yeah, 14 in row max, okay. Yeah. This is what they use in the home. See, it's also certified and so. Hi, uh, you know, you guys hear me? Uh, yes, who's this? Uh, who is, who is talking? No, I buy the, I buy the wire from eBay and there is a, that's it, I say it's a very hard, you know, it's a very hard, it's, it's not like a peppy, what, what you have is kind of soft uh, skin. But, but the, the one I bought is, is very hard. It's kind of uh, being stayed there for a very long time. So uh, in that case, I, I go YouTube and search and I find out the solution. It's great. So take uh, the wood, drill the hole on there and, uh, and uh, push a screw, a screw from the other, the other side. So a screw can, uh, can stay a little in, in the hole, you know? So I can, we, we can push the, push the wire through the hole and the screw, the, the tip of the screw drops stuck in the skin. Then you pull from the other side. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, Shane. That's another idea too. Yeah. yeah in that way, the easy the blade to, uh, the hole yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the knife. You can put a knife in there too instead of the screw as well. There's many options, right? And the screw, the screw way is very safe. It's safe, and uh, you can just, uh, you know, do any time. And uh, for me, you know, any other way I try, they all fail because the skin is very hard. Yeah. And uh, it's it's crunchy. The skin is crunchy. 
crispy okay. and it will, it will fall down easily. That's awesome to know uh, for the ones out there. Maybe I will show you guys the, the thing that I'm driving right now. Oh, you're jogging right now, so. <laughs> no, no, I'm driving right now, sorry. I'm it's okay. driving. It's okay. I'm going home, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I should show a video of that. I'm going to show you that. that get it. Yeah. There's one question I'd like to ask. The, I learned from the, the Facebook, somebody says that the, you mm -hmm. guys connect to, some, some people connect to mountains, some people connect to the stone. I don't understand. Is, is that true? What was that by using a Q device? You can connect to anything you want. They they, they say that, that the thing that you connect is a mountain or stone, but and uh, it, it also works. So, but I for me it just don't make sense. It, what do you want to connect it to? I I don't really understand that question really. Yeah, because what I'm thinking is that all the Q device what we're using is connecting to some kind of a zero point or or the source of God, something like that, instead yeah, of, of object. Yeah. Well, an object is also particles, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Everything's energy, everything's part of it, even the rock, the sand, the dirt, the water, everything. Okay. So, so it doesn't matter. There's no separation of anything. Everything's part of everything. That's why it's zero point. Um, oh, yeah. Space. Also, I want to say that the uh, Chinese group is doing the cube wrong because John Lin tell us, um, tell uh, tell Pappy what you told us today, that some of your Chinese group are doing it totally wrong. They get the design from someone, and then someone sabotaging the whole concrete project for the Chinese people. John Lin, yeah, they, you tell what you what you say today that they were doing it wrong. They got some kind of design from somebody. It was not even from you or me, Pep. Someone throw in a, you know, throw in a monkey wrench on the design. Yeah. Some, some people made the cone. That they say that the cone has the, the positive and the negative. So there are two, two points that you connect to the cone. So, so they uh, put a one wire in and one wire out. Yeah. They, that's so wait, uh, it has the power or something like that. But uh, like uh, saying, it's all human made. So that's why it's... Pepsi, can I share my screen? I share my screen. Who's this? This is Cherry Bomb. Can I share my screen? Yeah, sure. Share your screen. Share screen or oh, share the screen. Can you see that? Yeah. That's oh. the, your that's your cone setup, right? There's the you have one. You don't have one on the top yet. No. I just so you can see all these. I took a picture before I put the top one in. Oh, cool. Oh, you put them in the corner too. Looks nice in the corner. It gives you more space too. So this is number six down here. This is this is number one, two, three, four. Yeah. And five is this down is, there. This is space four. This is space one. This is space two. And this is space three of the cube. Oh, okay. You could, uh, Cherry Bob, you could connect any one of those cubes anywhere, uh, any of those cones wherever you want to, eh? Uh, well, I, already built it, I already built it for the specification. Okay, perfect. Yeah, just letting everyone know, too. Uh, I numbered them just because they would count the cone. Uh, but if you want to choose number six to hook up to, to the number one, that's fine. You can mix and match them, whatever works for you. Oh, so, don't confuse me now. <laughs> no, I mean when you hook up your cones to the capacitors. Yes. You can choose any one of the cones you wish, okay? Oh, but I, I, I like that Cosell's drawing was so precise that it was yeah. easy. Yeah, that's nice. You did a nice job. I love it. Looks really Just, good. But I, like I said, I used 24 gauge, not uh, 14. Yeah. What I would suggest, Cherry Bond, you see you're in the middle between the two, uh, all the four cones. You have on the right on there. The on your, yeah, there's. You see how the glue's connecting to the one of the corners. Yes. You, can you put it also on all the other sides as well? It'll it'll prevent it from moving the cones. Oh, whatever. that's why I, I built that structure in there first before I put any of the cones in. Yeah, I mean even on the side. I mean, on the oh, side here? of the cones. Yeah, around there. Yeah. Oh no, I did. This is just. 
right oh, this is just a previous picture. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry. It was just my build. So it has one single wire, John, one single wire that comes off each cone. It doesn't have a, there's a single wire right here. It's spiraled. That's the sp starting point, the tail right there. Yeah. And then it spirals out and doesn't touch the back. It comes off the edge and it follows the, the uh, contour into the corner and it comes out. So each one has a single. That center one comes down the bottom, goes up the wall here and comes out right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've got to remember that in the orientation to your coil sides too, because you don't want a bunch of wires crossing from one side all the way to the other around the bottom. That's why I did the drawing to show you that each corner has its connectors and they should all be separated from each other. They never should contact each other, right? They should be right. insulated with glue, basically. Correct. Is that, uh, is that correct? Yeah, it is. Okay. Awesome. That's perfect. Yeah. Let me stop the share real quick. But, but however, the 24 gauge, we can't share that with the public. You know, can do it privately. But as for the public, got to say 14 gauge or 12 gauge. No. Well, let's so just call it a demonstration of of the of the scale. You don't don't let's not consider the scale, but just the the construction. That's why I built it because it was easy to easy to bend the wire and and twist it and do everything. So now I'll go back and build it in fourteen because I know all the dimensions and everything. Cool. Yeah, you did a great job. Great. Great. Oh, that's okay. Very not. Uh, how much wire should you ro roll around each one of those uh, cones? Um, those I just did seven turns. Seven turns. Oh, all right. Yeah. Is it, does it matter if it's clockwise or cl counterclockwise? Oh, I guess. Uh oh. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> clockwise or just counterclockwise. Pick one direction and always stick with it. I figure. You know, that's the. On the On the phone, do that man. So yeah, you could do any turns. Two, three turns, one turn, so you're okay with that. You, you see that one? Yeah, that looks cool. That's the party hat cone that I made from a party hat as the mold. <laughs> took the party hat, fill, uh, took the aluminum, wrapped it on the party hat. It also shows, it also a template for the actual cutting the aluminum, so you only have to make one perfect uh uh, uh, coat of uh, aluminum on the cone to make it perfect. Take the party hat, mold it around the party hat, then take the cone off and put it inside the party hat and fill it with glue and it'll perfectly mold to its... Uh, to its uh, 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 so anyway. Come on. Uh. Awesome. Yeah, so John Lee, just uh, yeah, make sure you just follow the the diagram we give you. You'll be fine. Oh okay? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing that. Yeah, thank you. If you want to, I use, I use popsicle sticks for number five right here. I chose this one as five. Yeah, I use popsicle sticks to to support it, and it worked okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, nice yeah, it looks nice. This is side three, side two, side one, side four. The bottom is six. The top would be five. So that's what I, that's how that's the latest great. one. Okay. Great job. Great. Great. Uh, we could do some builds on the phone if you guys want. So. Okay, guys. I'm showing this stripper for you guys. A stripper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? Where's the stripper at? <laughs> it was it's very super easy. It doesn't matter what, uh, how, how bad the condition of the yeah. skin. Show us, John. It's very easy, yeah. I just show you. Do you see that? Oh, show again. Uh, okay, this is a thing. So we will have a screw to screw in a little bit. So just stuck in the skin. Can you pull? And you can pull from the other side. 
Can you pull some? Yeah, you... uh, I'm. I'm holding my. Uh, yeah, I'm holding my. Oh my goodness, I'm holding my cell phone. Let me. Check. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> That'll be cool to watch, and some people out there might take the. They might like that because it's easy he for them. A, he showed a, a a cone yesterday to make a model. Mm -hmm. and I did it. I did it this morning with parchment paper. It worked perfectly for me. It was great. Nice. Okay. I want to check out this, this this thing here. I don't think I can build that. Though. With the put it out? Yeah. It's uh. Then it just go away. Not. It's not go away. Yeah. Like this, and then uh, it creates a line in there, right? So you can a line, line, yes, a line just perfect to make it up. To yeah. That's an awesome idea. That's perfect. Like over here, let me show. okay, that's what it is, anyway. Yeah, so that was my Q6 that I showed you, Peppy. Yeah, I was just, yeah, cool. Awesome. That was before you introduced the cones. That was like two days yeah. and I already had a, a coil in it. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. yeah, just keep the coil in there. You don't have to take it apart. Well, it was this coil. I was uh, making a three stacker. It was going to be one continuous wire. So I actually sewed that coil set. Oh, okay. Think about it. I made a, a six foot bobbin. Yeah. <laughs> out of a 100, 250 foot piece of copper wire. And I threaded it through every single time to, to I was going to make a three stacker of one continuous wire. Yeah. <laughs> and I got through two stacks and then Cash changed the thing to, oh, we need to have broken connections and everything. And I'm just like, oh, I'll forget it. <laughs> no, I think I, yeah, I heard, yeah. Well, now you have the, the cones now. <laughs> you don't have to worry about coils no more. Well, I got a couple of mag wraps. Uh, so I, I want I want to ask Chris Cherry Bomb. Yeah. Uh, did you understand the setup for the free energy system? You know, with the car battery, the inverter, the Q24. You know, and then the Q24 is put next to the car battery, so it energy field can recharge your uh, car battery, and that in turn will feed the Q24. That in turn, the Q24 can now have low plug into it power ball and so forth, and you know. Did you kind of understand that setup? Someone's got the microphone on, so I, I didn't get everything. Um, but I have the 24 in a car, but it's um, in a power port at the rear of the vehicle. And so it's about, uh, about six feet from the battery. But it goes through the inverter and um, the power strip. Yeah, that'll work. No, no, I don't mean a car setup. I mean like off the grid setup, you know, the one that John did. Yeah, I got um, it's uh, six of the two cell uh, forklift batteries. You know what I'm talking about? You, you yeah, yeah. First, well, first he used it one battery, then later he used it to connect. Well, no, what I mean, they're two volt. So six, two a two volt cell is a is a cell that you get for forklifts or make, they take 24 to make a 48 volt fork truck, fork truck. They call them a fork truck, they're battery, they're two cell, they're multiple cell batteries. So. No, uh, no, 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 it was a car battery. He used a 12 volt car battery. The first time he using one, then later the next two day he add, I think the next day he added another one, hook it up and tail up. So you have two, I mean 12 volts, tail up with another 12 volt car battery and then some, and then he put the device next to it, just like I told him to create a snake to suck your tail. And now suddenly, no, no, the battery is being recharged by the Q24. John. John, John, not John Lynn. John, the crazy boy. No, no, I saw, yeah, I saw that. So you want to put the, you want me to put the Q24 close to the battery, right? Yes, it still has to charge the battery. I'm not talking about the car setup. I'm talking about um, the battery itself. You know how, you know how John did it. 
that's does anyone know what I'm talking about? Y'all yeah, saw yeah, the no, video, I understand, right? Cosell. Yeah. Do you know what a fork truck battery is? No. <laughs> Sorry. Ask the plasma intelligence if he knows. Scanning. Oh yes, I can see it. It's pretty big. It's yes. showing me that it's lifting up the battery, and I can see that. Oh yeah. So this thing is pretty huge. That's and what I'm talking about for the home. Here. For the residents of the home. But it's huge. Yes. It's, and it showed me it cost at least five to ten thousand dollar. No, 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 no. Okay. If you see that big battery, it's made up of twenty-four smaller battery cells. Okay. Oh. Okay. If you take yes, six, I see it. If you take six of those, that that makes twelve volts. But ah. they have a lot of capacity. They yes. have deep cell, deep cycle cell batteries. So Fine. it holds much capacity. Oh, right. Okay. You, you guys, got, excuse me, you guys got less than 10 minutes before I kick you out, so you can come back in again. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's just so that everyone so, know. So, so six, six of those make a 12 volt battery, just like the automotive, but just big, much bigger. Okay, I put the Q6 to that. Oh, not Q6, Q24, but okay, you can do I'll put Q6. The Q24 to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. no, I already put the Q6 to it. That's what I was telling you. Yeah. You want me to put the Q24 next to it? Yes, because the Q24 has a bigger plasma field, so you can have more reliability. As you can measure the field with your uh, volt, uh, the cone Q24 has a stronger field than the cone Q6. Yeah. And the okay, cone I'll try Q6, that tomorrow. And the cone Q6 is stronger than the coil Q24. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? That the cone is something else, and the bigger the cone, the more powerful it becomes, and that is the power of psi. And that's why you see me making big cone, cause plasma intelligence told me create create bigger cone, put them in the corner, pour a lot of hot glue in there. I said, okay, I did, and uh, why more? Cause Pappy show you three. Go ahead, and you can do four or five. I said, okay, you know. And actually, the minimum is three, like Pappy said. Three is good enough. But you notice I can do four or five uh, uh, wrapping around the cone. And then I give my cone a little tail so I can wrap some more to it. I can wrap some more coil on the tail. And I show Pappy today, didn't, didn't I, Pappy? Yeah. Oh, looks good. Looks awesome. Mm -hmm. They're huge. <laughs> and I can put three thumb, thumb in it. And all I did, I took a long neo, what's called a plier? Long needles, no ply, and I just fold my aluminum several times and become real thick. And I use my ply to make my cone, and it's big, and it's not long, it's big. You know, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> and it was perfect. And he saw how I did it. I did it in front of him. And a matter of fact, it's big like your cone, uh, Chris, Chris Cher Cherry Bomb. It's big like your cone, the one you just show a minute ago on the share screen. Right, Peppy? And it put it in the same place in the corner. But yeah. my alignment wasn't perfect, but the plasma tells you, say, oh, it's okay, it can adjust, you know? I mean, you know, it's flexible, so. I misline my middle cone, but it's okay. So, like this one? The one, one I get, let me see. I, I, Hold on, give me a second for my system to pick. But I made the tail and the leader very long because I didn't know how far at first I was going to have to go from, say, when you go from, when, the, when you moved them to the corners, you changed the whole geometry of the build because the wires where they would have been just right here coming up, they're, you know, now they're in the corner, so this one might have to go all the way over here, just depending mm -hmm. on where the, so I followed the top of the cube. And I built these little, I made these little plastic spacers out of the glue stick. Take the glue stick and cut it and make it look like a little hockey puck. Yeah. Use those as spacers between the wires. And it's already solid glue, so it's a solid material. So you just put a little bit of glue on it, spaced off the other one with solid glue, which is nice. I like that. That's how I built it. Um, yeah, that's nice. Small precision control. That's good. That's just my, that's the way I work. I just, sometimes I'm too logical about it, but. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to be. 
you know, oh, you want to be you want to be Captain Cook and also Mr. Spock. You don't want you know you want to have fun too while at the same time being logical. Yeah, yeah. no, I'll be Scotty for a while. How's that? Ah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but remember, bigger Kong is better. That's why we use the corner. When you say bigger, do you mean wider? Um, Pappy, can you help me? Like, yeah, there's like, uh, you can either. See, the, the surface area works both ways, either lengthwise or thickness on the bottom. You can do them wide and short or tall and narrow. It gives you the same surface. They work both ways. But it's, but the, so the distance is, is determined by the inside of the cube, and so you just make them more sharp, a sharper point then. Make them, uh, you can make them fatter. Let's just say wider. At the if, bottom? At the bottom, if you wish to, yeah. Okay. Because uh, you only have, that's a four inch by four inch glass. So if you make them too tall, then they'll touch each other, right? So you don't want them to touch each other. So in the flower pot, you could make them huge then? Yeah, you can. Okay. So, so the the bigger the size, the cone is better, right? Uh, uh yes, a fat rye. Right. Make make it fat, you know. Make it. Fat. Yeah, I would like to make it fat. That's yeah, great. Make it fat and then it's short. They don't have. How? To. Yeah. If how? You, if you got a compact in a small thing, then just make them more fat if you want. But okay. There's, there's no wrong or right. Okay, don't worry, guys. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, how about the the size for the capacitor? The bigger, the better. Uh, the capacitors, you're fine with them. Okay. So, it's the more you put, the more power you get. So. But, uh, that's why there's 224 and 4872 all the way to 144. So. Yeah, the quantity is more important than that. Yes. So, the, I have the, another question. This Q6 be running for about uh, three days. The color is just like fresh. So I don't know where, whether it's okay. It's normal? That's perfectly fine. Okay, because I just try, you know, I just try, try to touch it and, and I got electric shock. Did you, did, you, did you put water and ash on there? I, I, I did, uh, yes. Did you put oil? Yes, the coconut oil only. Uh... And I got shocked uh, just now when I when I put my foot it's on, not, on the ground. There's not a, there's connections. You didn't put water and ash on it. I, I do water it all all throughout the process. Oh wait a minute! Did you put your feet on the ground? Yes. There you go too. Oh, that's what happened. Don't 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 do that because it's not <laughs> categorized yet. Are you on ground? With different plasma, your vice have a different plasma. Once you touch it, that's why if you're on a carpet, barefoot, it's okay. If you're on a, a, a towel, barefoot inside your house, it's okay. You won't get shot. I have a towel ground, yes. Then I, because I try people asking me, a little girl asked me whether it's a safe because uh, she's living with some other other girls in the same room. So uh, so others, they are all afraid of it. They say that this has a large shock, so uh, it has dangers. So she asked me, then I try. Well, that's why I did it. Try touching it on the carpet while you're. Yeah, I understand that. So, so how about we? we I give, give it a shell. Does it feel hot? Uh, what, what do you mean? The the feel from the electric shock? No, around it. Can you feel heat around it or? I I can I can I can feel the the pressure. Okay. Okay, and uh, I I did that. Yes. Okay. And I tried to connect it remotely today when while I was yeah. at work. And no, 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 John. Listen, can you when you touch it? Do you feel coldness? What do you mean coldness? Cold like ice, like cold metal. Touch. Okay, you have your shoe on, right? I have my shoe on. Okay, touch the device right now. Put your hand on it. Are you touching the concrete? Hold on. Are you on concrete? This. No. Are you on concrete? Okay, put your shoes on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now you can touch it. I can touch it, okay. Then, uh, so, you mean, should be uh, ice cold, right? It's cold. 
it is cold. So you did everything right. It's just you touched the grounding with it. Uh, once your your place is included, you won't have that issue. Uh, okay, yeah. The ground has its own plasma. So once it's all plasmatic, we use a plasma, the earth plasma. Okay. So we'll give it some time. So don't, yeah, just be careful on that part. And uh, I'm I'm thinking about I'll uh, give this to other people. What? So would it be okay that I disconnect this and I'll give it to people? Yeah, you can give it away if you want. Yeah. Yeah, because because I have I have one friend. It's very bad. Her her family is very bad. Her husband got a mental problem. Yeah, just plug it they, in place and uh, bless it. And uh, how do you think this device will help their family? It will help them mentally, physically, emotionally.